You know something? The only way that video could have gotten on social media is that Dog Tales and Sanctuary had one of their volunteers or employees go onto that property, trespass, and record that video when the farmers were not home. That is the only possible way they could have gotten that video. It does not take much to hop the fence or to walk down a long driveway and to get into the farm. But first they have to check to make sure the owners aren't home. Well, they did just that and they trespassed and they got the video. They could easily be, yeah, seriously, they could easily be charged with trespassing. Trespass the Property Act. It covers all of Ontario. Like, if you're not aware of it, it's in the Criminal Code of Canada. I could easily look that up and link it right in the description below. Right below. Just click show more. It'll tell you. And, yeah, that is trespassing. No doubt about it. Straight up trespassing. That's the only way they could have gotten that video. And the threats, death threats, damage to property, violence, murder, you know, threats from social media after the video was posted, again, by somebody trespassing onto the property and recording it, is unwarranted. There's no need to make threats to threaten the entire family of farmers, to threaten to kill them, to threaten to hurt them, to threaten to, to torture and abuse them. Like, seriously? What the fuck? What the fuck is wrong with you? That's what's wrong. You shouldn't be threatening that family. What if that was your family that was being trespassed on, like their property? Someone jumping the fence and getting into the property and filming everything of yours and then posting it somewhere and saying these people are abusing their animals animals of any kind could be even pets reptiles birds and then you get a bunch of threats from there then you get the police called for no reason at all like i got two beautiful cats but i sure as fuck don't abuse them or hurt them i love them they're like my sons so it's unwarranted to do that kind of shit like, really. Even I wouldn't trespass onto somebody's property just to get a stupid video. No, I wouldn't. No, it's just it's just not right. I don't know why. Like, I don't, just don't fucking know and understand why such an agenda will be put forward just to harass these farmers for nothing. Like, sure, they're not the standards. Sure, mistakes happen. It happens. Like... How does the province, or the country, or, or the federally, like, do they even send out letters to let farmers know about the standards that might have changed five, ten years ago, or three years ago, or a year ago? Like, do they even send a letter advising farmers that these standards have changed right here in writing? They have changed. Do they even send a notice or letter? No, they don't. They don't send notices whatsoever. So how the fuck are these farmers actually supposed to know that they were not compliant with the standards? They simply weren't made aware of the changes. And the standards aren't mentioned on the news either. Like, do they have to go on the website? Like, depending on where it's buried in. And find out if they're following the standards or not? Maybe. And... Do they even have the time to do it every single day to check every single, yes, every single day and every single minute to see if there's any changes? No, they probably don't. Because they got to care for the animals, they got to pay bills, they got to buy groceries, especially if the crops are not grown all the way, you know? You got to think about that part. They have lives too, besides you. So don't go just go falsely accusing any farmer of that shit. And don't go trespassing on the property. Like, seriously? Seriously? These animal rights activist groups are just, they're throwing it way out of proportion. They're blowing it out of proportion. Like, you know, the best way 
to stop all that shit from happening on your farm if you have a farm and you're being constantly hounded by these nitwits, put barbed wire fencing around. You're gonna have to, at least to stop them from hopping over and getting pictures and video without your consent. That's the only way you're gonna have to do it. It's just, it's, why is it have to come to that? When people are out openly trespassing on your property and then making accusations weeks later or months later. Like, what the fuck? Why? Anyways, that's my honest response. Peace out.